Hi everyone, welcome to the Tropic Marin channel. My name is Samuel Nietzscher. I'm a researcher at the University of Oldenburg based here in Wilhelmshaven. Maybe you remember me from the videos from the Interzoo last year where we presented corals that were produced here in, in Wilhelmshaven through sexual reproduction in a project that is supported by Tropic Marin. And today we're here at the place. I would like to show you around a bit so you can have an impression what we do here, how everything looks. So this aquarium facility belongs to the working group environmental biochemistry. The name environmental biochemistry already implies we're interested in the interaction of biology and chemistry in the marine environment, meaning signaling molecules, defensive compounds and all that uh, chemical stuff that is highly important in the uh, environment. Our working group is active in the North Sea, in the deep sea, but also in the coral uh, reef. It's a facility of about six and a half thousand liters. In a recirculating system, we have a lot of different coral species that we work with. We work on different topics, but for now, let's just have a brief look through the aquarium facility. I myself am uh, in charge of this facility for 10 years now, so I've been running that place for quite a long time. Coral reef ecosystems are highly complex and diverse ecosystems, meaning there's a lot of species interacting all the time, and space is a super valuable commodity in the reef. You can see that uh, nicely in this uh, display tank here. It's not a display tank in the classical sense as you would have uh, a nice display tank at home basically, but we let everything grow here pretty wild. So there's almost no rocks in that system and it uh, depicts, in my opinion, rather nicely how, how a reef is formed. So corals are growing to the surface. They're fighting among each other uh, in the shaded areas. The coral tissue retracts and then other organisms like sponges uh, take over. So it's a very complex system. And that's what we're really interested in, in these interactions. But before we go into more detail, uh, we have a quick look around the facility. We accommodate different species of corals. Acropora is uh, very important for us, but also other species like Montipora and uh, Stylophora. So we have a, quite a variety of different coral species in here. Like every facility, we also have a, a sump system with a skimmer, particle filters, and most importantly, the dosing. The whole facility is run with Tropic Marine products because for our sensitive corals, we need a very stable environment. So the products that we use from Tropic Marine allow us to have a good baseline so our corals are, are happy and, and growing and even reproducing. So for dosing, we can go around here. It's, it's very narrow and everything is crammed <laughs> and then uh, stuffed full of things. Uh, we run the classic bulling system with the like, carbonates, calcium, and then the element mix with the magnesium. At night, we are dosing Kalkwasser, which uh, works really well. And for the trace elements, we use the A and K elements. The salt we use is the Pro Reef salt and it's the standard salt that everybody can buy so there's not a, a special mixture or anything uh, custom made for us so we're using the, the normal products. So in the tanks here we see the actual reason for this video why we're here today we're looking at uh, corals that have been produced uh, sexually so these acropora are now about two years old and they have been grown from a single fertilized egg each of them. Since 2020 we have a second facility, not this main facility, but a, a remodeled shipping container that we will uh, go to in a second. In this shipping container, we have three separate systems that we can run on different climates or locations, so to speak. Because you need, in order to get the corals to spawn in an artificial environment, you need to simulate the, the climatic uh, parameters that the corals experience in their environment, especially um, lunar cycle. Uh, temperature throughout the year and uh, the day length. So with these parameters they can synchronize and spawn at the uh, date or in the time frame that they're supposed to spawn like in the wild. And then when the corals spawn we collect the eggs and sperm, we fertilize them, larvae develop and then these larvae settle which is also a very important step that we're researching a lot like the settlement of the coral larvae. The coral larvae we can produce during the spawning 
we did for our research because we're studying the process of how a coral larvae settles and transforms into a primary polyp. And these primary polyps then grow into corals like these. But there is a lot of complex mechanisms involved in the process of a fertilized egg turning into a coral like that. And that is our field of research. Now we magically jumped into our <laughs> remodeled shipping container that is housing our spawning systems. This um, container is housing three independent systems. So on one side we have the Australian system, up here is Fiji, and we also run a Saudi Arabian system. The reason why the facilities are in a shipping container is uh, a space limitation. So in the main building there was no way to, uh, to build in another aquarium facility. There was this little patch in the garden. Then we came to the conclusion, hey, a uh, remodeled shipping container would fit the bill. So that's what we uh, then had uh, custom made for us basically. So in these systems we can simulate the necessary parameters, as I mentioned earlier, lunar cycle, um, temperature profile throughout the year and length of day. Uh, and that is done by feeding these data uh, into a main computer uh, that then translates it into um, lighting and temperature. And by doing this the corals basically feel at home. So they here think, or as far as a coral can think, <laughs> uh, feel basically like they are in the Fijian reef because the lunar cycle is the same temperature, is the same, etc. So they're going to spawn in the same time frame as they do in Fiji. And that's predictable. So we know the times when they're going to spawn. So we can be ready to collect the eggs and, and sperm. Uh, do the fertilizations and then uh, produce the larvae we need for our research. The three systems here are run in the same way as the main facility uh, next door that we just visited, meaning bulling system with the addition of A and K elements as well as some more tropic marine products. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope that was uh, entertaining to you and interesting. So if you're interested in this topic and our research, uh, you can subscribe uh, and we'll post more videos about this uh, type of content and our research. Thank you.